In 1818, Mary Shelley birthed a new genre of fiction with her famous story, Frankenstein. However, it wasn't until over 100 years later in 1926 that the publisher Hugo Gernsback popularized the term science fiction with his ongoing publication, Amazing Stories. It was the first magazine devoted solely to science fiction, including the works of the great Jules Verne, 1828 to 1905, H.G. Wells, 1866 to 1946, and Edgar Allan Poe, 1809 and 1849. Perhaps best known for his horror writing and dark poetry, Edgar Allan Poe also wrote science fiction stories, the most notable of which may be The Unparalleled Adventures of One's Hands Befall, relating a man's balloon journey to the moon with a combination of scientific precision and astonishing fantasy. Jules Verne was a French novelist, poet, and playwright. He is famous for his creation of the Voyages Extraordinaires, a series of best-selling adventure novels, including Journey to the Center of the Earth, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Around the World in 80 Days. His novels are always very well documented and generally set in the second half of the 19th century and always take into account the technological advances of the time. In short, he imagined the future as buildable and practical. H.G. Wells, considered by many to be the father of science fiction, was famous for The Time Machine, Visible Man, and War of the Worlds, believed that human experience was at the center of science fiction. Jules Verne and H.G. Wells, in fact, disagreed on the philosophies of science fiction. I do not see the possibility of comparison between his work and mine. We do not proceed in the same manner. It occurs to me that his stories do not repose on very scientific basis. No, there is no report between his work and mine. I make use of physics, he invents. I go to the moon in a cannonball discharged from a cannon. There is no invention. He goes to Mars in an airship, which he constructs of a metal which goes away with the law of gravitation. But show me this metal. Let him produce it. H.G. Wells believed that a fantastical leap was fine as long as it was grounded in the human experience. The interest he invoked was a practical one. He wrote and believed and told that this or that thing could be done, which was not at all at that time done. He helped his reader to imagine it done and to realize what fun, excitement, or mischief would ensue. Many of his inventions have come true, but these stories of mine do not pretend to deal with possible things. They are exercises of the imagination in a quite different field. Which do you believe? <laughs>